What's this like a like a mansion, God? No, I got it's a castle. It's a castle. You got booby traps. You got booby traps. Oh, uh oh. Got to look around, face. <laughs> Uh, it's a museum. Yeah, yeah. Signs, OG. Oh, there you go. Trying to give you a, 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 a MTV. Oh, you, you feel? I, I, I just, I was, I was just getting some B-roll. You came out and you know. God Crabs, man. God huh? Crabs. But really, you know, I, I, I wanted to always say, like, man, you know, people be saying the guys ain't got nothing. The guys don't have nothing. No, the guys got a whole museum. Mm. So this, this okay. is uh, this the mosaic. So right now what y'all in, y'all are in the Gallery of the Americas. So this is like the Americas Gallery, being the gallery that cap captures all the uh, Native American um, artifacts. You know, so we got things from all across the indigenous Americas. You see we got, uh, you know, like Aztec calendar, you know, coasters. But it's like, you know, it's like a house museum. So it's like, we, 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 we made it so it's like, it ain't even trying to not be a house. It's a house because it's meant to represent your home, you know, like the planet Earth is our home, right? So all the culture all around us is like the art and artifacts that make up our art experience. That's a Shona, that's made by the Shona people of Zimbabwe. It's, I believe, serpentine stone. Mm. And uh, yeah, man, that's made by an artisan, man. You gotta touch it, man, to feel the power in it, man. That, that, that statue made gay men turn right, man. The gay men be having to reevaluate their life. I feel you, because I be having guests, you know, Airbnb guests come in and they, they be in here like, oh, <laughs> honey. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, you're right, bro. get out of here. We go outside, you see an art. You know, you going outside, you see a culture, you see, we put out big statues, totem poles. We did that. We made it, it's an art world. Mm. You know, Earth got art in the middle of it. You know, so art is about an experience. And so there's a lot of sacred uh, meaning behind every piece. Like you see, homie, the universal flag, there's a reason why in our lessons it says it's the only, right? It's the only flag of the universe. That's important because it's a special one. That's why that's like when you first come in, there's a universal flag and you see that. And then if you keep looking, you're going to see an Aztec calendar right beside it and be like, oh shit. Because everything kind of like a derivative, like, you know, and then the science of it being the greatest. Because we see it like, oh man, this, there's a whole lot of, like that, everything right there is derived from the universal flag. Because the universal flag, Sham God was so inspired with his crazy ass. You know, I say that with love, because we gotta love the crazy motherfuckers. You know what I mean? They say the guys must be crazy, but Sham God, he pulled that flag out of his mind, and, and, and it was, that didn't exist when he made that. So yeah. This shit was, I, I did this by hand. Now, I didn't do every screw in there, but this is all my design. Oh, you built the bookshelf? Yup. Mm. Yup. Whole joint, custom. Like everything in here, you know I'm like an artist, so like I ain't gonna break this trying to show it off to you. But like, you know, I, I just take stuff and make stuff. See, this is, this is not, nice. these are. Yeah, this is a real thing. I don't want it to break, but yeah. This is a real, this is a real blade right here. That's, that's the thing, I tried to use it, that's why it's loose. <laughs> it, don't, it don't work that good, like not in real life. It's, a good, it's good for display purposes. This is a god right here. And this was made by an artisan who put the power in it when he made it. Like he was really chanting and singing and all that. And they was doing fires and dances around this. Mm. And then this dude was part of ceremonies for who knows how many hundred years. Is that clay made out of clay? Yeah, touch that. Yeah, it's terracotta. Terracotta, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, East Asia's in the dining room. I really want people to experience like the culture that's theirs. Mm. Like this is something we're like, homie, I reclaimed all this shit, man. I went up to these old devil's houses and <laughs> was bargaining my ass off to get these shits back, man. Get none of these shits necessarily, but these these items, like, that's why I left prices on them, man. Cause if you see a price tag on them, that's not because it's for sale, it's because I might have paid for that. I might, that might have been how much it was. I might have gave half of that. I might try to get 10 of them at a time, so I got a few of them. And the goal was to really, if you look around, it's an energy grid. It was a queen that put this together, like designed the, the aesthetic of when you walk in. You're supposed to feel the power. You're supposed to feel like it's a family reunion of shit older than you. I keep saying shit, but you know, it's like, it's like you really ain't got good words for it. Mm -hmm. So when you feel that power, you feel like something, you know, coming back to you. It might just be one piece. It might be a collection of them. It might just be a spot in the room.
homie. When I was a kid, like young, you would have never told me that I'd be an art collector. And never would have told me I'm gonna reclaim Wakandan artifacts. Like, yo, I'm bringing Wak Give me this vibranium back. This vibranium right here. This is us, this is our melanated energy. Our craftsmen, our sacred people, our scientists, they put their time, they thought, their energy. If you look at the carving, but that's why these devils, they want it, homie. When I go in the estate sales, only the devils with libraries got the African indigenous art. All the, all the ones that just got junky big houses, big house, I know that they inherited their money from the ones that made it through the slavery and all that, right? But they ain't inherited no education. Now the Jewish families and the Eastern European families and certain other white people families, like certain people, the certain families, they value education. They got crazy books, right? And then they also got this shit. I like this synth mega, do it again. Peace and celebration of each other. We support each other's hustle. Weight Life has sponsored this content. You can get a sweatshirt, t shirt, or a hoodie at the Common Unity Store of a law school in Mecca. Or just simply hit me up. I got the hookup. Peace.